Hello everyone, welcome to another Gaming Brothers video. My name is Justin and today I'm going to bring something to you as was requested. Um, not too long ago I showed you a cart switching station or like a destination selector station. Um, this is kind of a smaller one so um, basically I'm going to be doing it exactly like I have it on my actual server. Um, you may have seen this just searching or whatever so I can give you an anno annotation to the final product that actually works in my server. I'll give you an annotation here. And then if uh, you linked from the video that I actually show what's going on like actually on my server, well welcome. This is the tutorial that you guys as a group requested so here we go. So basically what I've laid out just as kind of a precursor here this one's going to have two state, two destinations. Um, basically, for simplicity and speed, I don't want to make this like a 40-minute video or something insane like some of my videos. Um, what you do have to know is, yes, you can expand it, but it gets a little finicky when you're trying to expand it farther than four or five, especially. Things get really crazy, especially when you're trying to do like all of the track reset. And... Um, you can space it out a little more, but that kind of defeats the point of it being compact. Um, for me, I only need like three destinations, so this works perfectly. Anyway, so we're going to get started. First, we basically have just... I have a wall here where I've, where I've fallen off the edge of my platform. Uh, I have a wall here where I have made... Uh, I've just put two buttons and just sign for destination A and B, torches on the top which are basically indicator lights, those will be used later, and then we have our two we have our two destinations. This basically is three destinations. Um, there's only switching for two, but there's basically a default destination that you know you zoom right through here and off. So this is kind of a three destination track, so to speak. Um, like I said, you can expand this more, but I just didn't bother. Um, so anyway, we've got just the basic track set up here, and then this too. You probably can hear those slimes jacking around below me, so I'm going to cut the volume a little bit. Hopefully that helps it. Um, and then I've just put a, two redstone dots on either of those just to kind of help that out. Um, so what we're going to do here, we're going to place a block underneath both of the buttons. And as you can see, I made sandstone here so I can see the button on the back side. And then off of that, redstone on the top of both of those, like that. What we're going to do here is two up. And um, on each of those, we're going to get two up. I'm going to go two up like this, like such. And you need redstone on the top. So a connection like that and a connection like that. And this is a really simple station, obviously. This is this this destination selector is for, I guess you'd say, the average person. I've seen a ton of stations out there that are just really, really large. And that's great that you've made this massive, you know, thing. And I totally I totally approve of people who do that. That's just fantastic. And some people really need that. But if you just have a basic SMP server or you just by yourself, um, and you play, you probably don't have like twenty destinations or you don't want to spend, you know, six days building a giant um, destination like selector, so we're gonna do the basic one. So, okay, here we are. As I was talking there, I've basically built a what I like to call the vertical RS Norlatch. Um, I'm gonna put two buttons right here for now just so you can see. When I poke that, the top part comes on and um, bottom part goes off. When I come out here and I poke the buttons here, those come on. Uh, yeah, so that's what we've got as far as that goes, and then if you're wanting to hook this up, easiest way I've found, just like that. <clears throat> so there we have it, and when we reset them, tracks off, that goes back. Now, here's the deal. I have this set up sort of like an inverter right here with these torches, and that just has to do with that north-south rule if you're familiar with train tracks, in, or minecart tracks in Minecraft. Um, 
if this does not work for you, if like this is when you're pressing the button it's actually doing the reverse of what you want, um, what I re recommend is knocking the torch out and just running redstone all the way. That will clear up any problems that you're having, I promise. So, now what we need to do is we need to light up, or we need to darken these when they need to be darkened and light them up when you press the button. So that's really, really easy. We'll knock the buttons off here so we can have some room to build. I'm going to take block here, just build this up, and, oops, I didn't like that so that the torch is right above. We're going to run redstone out and around and up here, and then we're going to use repeaters to go past this, and that's so this redstone circuit here doesn't jack with it. Perfect. So then when we press the button, light comes on. When we have like a button here, and that gets reset, light goes off. Simple as that. Um, so now, what we're going to do here is we're going to just go ahead and do the same thing, mirror it on the other side. Um, you can actually run it up the middle too, right here, but that gets a little tricky and basically you have to lengthen this whole assembly out a little farther to get it to work right. At least that's what I've found. I don't pretend to be a redstone expert at all. Um, just doing some little things on my server that I find great and since I have a channel and I record things and I screwed that up totally. Um, since I have a channel and I record stuff, you know, I figured, why not? I know people need this, so... Okay. Sorry, folks. This is what you have to do. Right here like that. And I might actually cut that part of the video out, we'll just see. And then you gotta put this over the top so that it blocks the redstone current from the previous. So then you can get redstone up here. And then build that up. And I'm just knocking out the bottom so it's a little bit more open and you can kind of see. Um, so then we just go redstone in here like the algoth. Oh There's a perfect example as to what happens if you screw that up. There you go. Repeaters. Just like such. So now both of those are on. Let me get these reset. And this one over here all better. Okay, so both of them are off. We've got that running. That is working all like that. So that's pretty much all you have to do for most of it. Now what we have to do is, you see we've set these cart selection tracks out here. Or cart detection tracks, not selection. What the hell am I talking about? Um, don't mind me, it's just crazy. Um, so we're going to build... You can also bury this, but since I'm on my platform, you can't really bury it. So we're just going to go over the top like that. And essentially this just has to come in and around and hook up here. And that provides the reset signal for the switching station. And we'll do the same thing over here with this one. Um, just gonna kinda mosey on over here. like such, and do that over the top like that, and bam. That's what it requires. Um, if you have anything like this, you can just do what I do, throw a block over the top. And obviously this is kind of just a little more open, just to kind of show you guys how it works. Um, you can close it off or do whatever you want. But basically that's what we've got. This is the complete setup for the two system. It's pretty compact, you can fit it in a small space. So basically, we put on the light, we say, oh, I want this destination. So it tells you the destination is ready. So we need a minecart. I really need to just install like the too many items mod and stuff for my creative server, but whatever. Um, so now that we've switched that, the destination is switched to this, so We'll go ahead and put in a minecart and plunge it to its doom. Away it goes, and as soon as that crosses this rail, it sends a detector signal all the way up, or the reset signal all the way up, and this is switched back to the default, so it just goes on through. And that's about it. Um, pretty simple. Uh, 
I hope you guys really enjoyed this video as far as the tutorial goes. I know that there was quite a bit of request for this. Um, it's really actually not that difficult, and adding um, adding destinations isn't too bad. It does start to get a little crazy if you start going for three or four. A lot of that has to do with the reset signal. If you notice in my video, um, all of my reset signals run over the top of the track like this, and the reason for that is because I do not have room to bury it, because there is actually an immense amount of redstone underneath the building that operates my uh, minecart station, uh, that dispenser that I've built in the past. So that actually runs underneath the switching station, and so I did not have room. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. If you liked this video, you know, if you like the video, maybe hit me up for a subscription if you like my content, or if you just like the video, throw a thumbs up on it. You know, um, I really like to know. I really like to know if you really enjoy the videos, since I'm so new to this whole recording thing. But that is it for now. Um, you'll catch if you guys watch my channel on a regular basis. Be sure to check out, um, probably have a new Minecraft Hardcore series upload within the next day or so, so check that out. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later.